Hi, I'm Piripa and in this video we'll be taking a look at how you can use your voice to control effects and parameters live with doubler T. What we'll be doing is mapping vowel sounds to MIDI assignable parameters in our door. In doubler you'll see four dials on the right hand side of the play tab. These dials are mapped to three vowel sounds A, E and U. A, E, U. And the fourth is mapped to the envelope of your voice. We can then link these to any parameter we like. So for example, I could map the R vowel to a filter on my synth. I'm using Ableton here, but each door will have its own method for MIDI mapping. So here in Ableton, I have my basic digipad and I want to map the R vowel to the cutoff filter. I'm going to press the MIDI button up here in the top right and I'm going to click on the parameter that I want to map, the cutoff filter, go back to doubler 2, go to the assign tab and then press map on the R vowel. Then I'm just going to go back to Ableton and uncheck that MIDI button there. Now as I sing I can change this parameter by changing between an U and an R vowel. We can also fine tune the CC output in the assign tab. By adjusting the output range, we can decide the minimum and maximum cutoff on the filter we just mapped. I don't want my filter to go all the way down, so I'm just going to bring it up a bit in doubler. So now we can take this principle and apply it to more complex effects chains and use it alongside other MIDI controllers. For example, if I'm playing a melody on my MIDI keyboard here, I can't control other effects parameters, but I can use my voice to change the sound without affecting the melody I'm playing. CC dials aren't sent directly to an active channel in the same way as pitch information. So all I need to do after mapping is make sure that MIDI is only being received from my MIDI keyboard. So here I've got a basic electric piano sound. I've mapped my R vowel to an even tied shimmer verb, which is going to give it a large organ reverb type of sound. And then I've got my E vowel mapped to a filter, which as it rises, it's going to cut off the lower frequencies, giving it a thinner sound. And then I've got my U vowel mapped to the depth of a sound toys tremolo plugin. And here's how all that sounds all together. So that's a look at how we can control effects and parameters with our voice using Dubla. If you want to find out more, you can check out the Learn page on voclear.com.